Every morning in the wild, a gazelle awakens. One thing is for sure for the gazelle that day, as every other. She must run faster than the fastest lion. If she cannot, she will be killed and eaten. Every morning, a lion awakens. For the lion too, one thing is certain. This day and every day, he must run faster than the slowest gazelle. Whether fate names you a gazelle or a lion is of no consequence. It is enough to know that with the rising of the sun, you must run and you must run faster than the day before for the rest of your days or you will die. We all have to run, run the race of life. Our planet is a place of great diversity. From the sparse expanse of desert to the rich layers of rainforest. The animals that live here come in every shape and size. Each has adapted to survive in a unique way. The elite have reached enormous proportions. They use brute force to survive. But they need other tricks. Some have added weapons, armor, and speed. Others have intelligence, agility, and a strong family bond. A few have developed one feature to the limit, but all must fight every day to survive. All must run the race of life. Our story is set in the cradle of humanity, a vast continent that straddles the equator and reaches beyond the tropics. A land of extremes, with places so dry it hasn't rained for years, and tropical storms that never seem to stop. Where the air is warm and wet all through the year, and everything grows continuously, from the tallest trees to bushes, grasses, and mosses. Africa, land of dense jungles and enormous grassy plains. Home of the giants, the largest land animals on Earth, using the non-stop food supply to survive. Vast herds constantly on the move, always on the lookout for enough food and water to get through the day. They need to spend most of their time drinking, roaming, and grazing in a constant struggle to support their large bodies. Most of these herbivores are peaceful animals but one of them has a dark and dangerous secret. He lives in the rivers and water holes of Africa. Every animal needs water to survive. 
So this is where the race of life is at its most fierce. All who live here must evade hidden predators. The river provides food, drink and bathing. It is a giver of life. And a place of death. Our star animal must share his home with the crocodile. Unlike the great herds who cross every year, he cannot move away to the distant grassy plains. The hippopotamus. Hippos can weigh as much as two tons. They have survived in Africa for over eight million years. These peaceful looking animals have a fierce reputation. Their skin releases an alarming red fluid. It's only a form of sunscreen, but people used to think that hippos sweat blood. The facts might have been wrong, but the reputation is well founded. The injuries and scars on their skin bear witness to the daily battles facing these animals in their race of life. Hippos will fight ferociously for their territory. A typical group is mostly females and their young. And one large, fierce male. He's perfectly adapted to the water. When he dives, his nostrils close automatically but he can still see and hear extremely well. And he can stay underwater for up to six minutes. Hippos can't swim, but they bounce along the riverbed, coming up for air every few minutes. Our leader of the pod has about 10 females to look after. It's a full-time stressful job, and some bulls have to protect pods with as many as 100 animals. This is when the dark side of the hippo comes out. Hippos will defend their territory against any intruders, including humans. Believe it or not, they kill more people than lions, leopards and buffalo combined. But the main enemy of our dominant male is other males. He will allow small males to live in the pod as long as they are submissive. But with other large bulls, the fight is on. These teeth are formidable, like clubs with swords rolled into one. They are purely there for fighting and can grow to half a meter long. And they never stop growing. The combatant's jaws can hinge open to a full 180 degrees. Most animals draw blood in these battles, and our bull is in danger of serious injury, or worse. He has survived to protect his pod for another day. His skin is tough, but he will need some time to recover before taking on another intruder. For a lion, attacking a full-grown, healthy animal is too risky. But hippos are vulnerable when they're out of the water. And sometimes, a pride of lions will take the risk. Each must be faster, stronger, fitter to win. Today, the lions have won, and one hippo has lost the race of life. The African savanna is the stage for thousands of battles every day. The great herds are on the search for food. The predators are on the hunt for them. One animal appears best equipped to survive. And he has. The rhinoceros is built like a tank and he's been around for over six million years. 
Despite their fierce appearance, rhinos are not hunters, but peaceful grazers. Rhinos are frantically running the race of life every day against starvation, other rhinos, and poachers. Their deadly horns are made of the same tissue as fingernails. They contain no blood vessels and no nerves. So if they're damaged in a fight, they feel no pain. The horn on this male can grow to a lethal 1.5 meters in length. He usually lives alone and fears almost no predator, except for one. The race of life for this rhino is against humans, poachers who kill for that magnificent horn. Sadly, rhino horn is worth more than its weight in gold, so these iconic animals are becoming a rare sight on the African plains. Female rhinos are more sociable than the males. These mothers are dedicated to their calves and look after them for three years. But their weakness is their eyesight. Rhinos are extremely nearsighted. To this herd, a man with a gun looks the same as a tree at only 15 meters away. The animals of the savannah gather round the ever-shrinking pools of water. A rhinoceros needs a lot of water. If he doesn't get a drink for five days, he will die. As the last pools grow smaller, the race of life is on. Only the animals who can stay close to the water will make it until the rains return. It's getting hotter and drier. Life has become very hard. Things are desperate. The rhino will take on anyone to preserve his spot by the water. And so this grumpy giant makes a stand to live another day in the unforgiving climate of the African plains. The biggest animal walking the earth today can be heard from hundreds of kilometers away. The African elephant. Twice the size of their Indian cousins, African elephants are easily recognized by their larger ears. These imperious animals have been roaming the plains of Africa for three to four million years. African elephants travel in families of mothers and young. They must keep moving to find enough food to survive. The head of the herd is a grand old female, the matriarch. The herd has traveled over a hundred kilometers. After a grueling trek, the elephants come across fresh grass. The elephant's trunk is not just a long nose, it's also a very agile top lip, capable of great strength and great sensitivity. She can use her trunk to touch, grab and drink, as well as breathe and smell. Her huge molars are designed for grinding massive quantities of grass and leaves. Surviving the African heat is a challenge every day. The answer is a shower. A nice coating of dust will keep the elephant cool, but it also protects her skin from insects and other pests. When food is scarce, the herd must take drastic action. This is the only way to reach those tasty new leaves at the top of the tree. But the price is high, as the elephant is destroying her own food source. 
The elephant's multi-purpose trunk contains over 40,000 muscles, and she can use it to lift over 300 kilos. But she also needs it for affection. Using her trunk to cuddle other animals in the group, or to check that her family members are okay. Elephants are thick-skinned. Even on their face, the skin is two and a half centimeters thick. But they are gentle animals, forming family bonds that last until death. Life is not so easy for a bull elephant looking for a mate. Only the biggest and strongest will be allowed to father a baby. Most bulls are over 25 years old before they are big enough to win one of these battles. But even the largest land animal in the world must run the race of life. For water, for food, and even sometimes against predators. A pride of lions is a danger to even a full-grown elephant if he becomes old or weak. This herd has not had a drink in two days. They followed the distant sound of thunder and victory. Water at last. You can almost see the joy on their faces as they suck up a cool, refreshing drink. The other animals share in this new lease of life. It's been a struggle to get here, but now it's time to celebrate. The herd will spend hours splashing, playing, and feeling good to be alive. They can live to 70 years old, which gives them plenty of time to teach the young ones everything they've learned. They also seem to feel compassion. When an animal dies, the family shows genuine signs of grief. These magnificent giants can use brute force or intelligence to win the race of life. There's almost something human about that. The most human-like animal of all lives beyond the African plains. The rain-drenched mountains of the tropics are draped with dense jungles. It's warm and wet, and there's a constant supply of leaves, shoots, and fruit. This is the home of a shy creature who has almost lost the race of life. Gorillas, intelligent, playful, and critically in danger of being wiped out. The head of the family is keeping an eye out for the youngster. This family lives in the forests of Rwanda, and they are lucky to be alive. In 1981, only 254 gorillas remained here. Most have been killed by poachers. Park guards are now well armed to protect the gorillas. They aim to stop a practice that goes back centuries. Gorillas are among the closest living relatives to humans. Only 2% of their DNA is different from ours. The young gorillas in the family quickly learn to climb so they can find food and escape danger. They also fit in plenty of time for fun. Gorillas eat over 140 different kinds of plants. A dominant male is called the silverback. He will protect his troop of females and their young for life. Young males are welcome to stay in the troop as long as they do not challenge the silverback. This baby is completely dependent on his mother. He will start crawling at two months old but won't go far from her side until he's aged three or four years. As he grows up, 
He will have the entire troop to look out for him. They will fight off predators and teach him skills for survival. He quickly learns the tops of the trees are the best place to find fruit and juicy young leaves. Gorillas live up to 40 years. When the silverback becomes old, this little guy may be the one to challenge him. But that is over 10 years away. In the meantime, his family will only win their race of life if humans continue to defend them and allow gorilla numbers to continue to grow. The tallest animal on Earth is also a great African herbivore. As the sun greets a new day, the race of life on the savanna is about to begin. Tens of thousands of animals compete every day to find enough grasses and leaves to eat. They roam in large numbers for safety as there are many predators lying in wait. The Thompson's gazelle sounds the alert. The great herds break into a run. But the predator runs too, a cheetah. But cheetahs tire quickly, and if they keep running, the herds will win the race of life today. But one animal has an advantage. She can watch out for danger from a great height, the giraffe. This graceful animal can be as tall as six meters. Her neck makes up a third of this height. They have acute hearing and large eyes with good all-round vision. They can even see in color. Other animals graze close to giraffes to make use of their predator early warning system. Despite his size, this giraffe can be hard for predators to see. His contrasting pattern breaks up the outline of his body. Like all giraffes, this one does not have a permanent group. He mixes with other giraffes when it suits and often moves on to join other groups. Even mothers and their young only stay together for a few months. But our male still has to compete for the right to mate. He must fight a unique and brutal battle. All males have more pronounced horns as part of their weaponry. The giraffe's coat is like a fingerprint. Every individual has a unique pattern. But our giraffe has one more huge advantage when it comes to competing with other herbivores on the African savanna. He can reach the food that other animals cannot. Giraffes nibble the leaves from the tops of trees. Their mouths and tongues are specially adapted to cope with the large thorns produced by some of these trees. But they do have to fight to survive the king of the African predators. The big male has seen the lion. He is not sure if the lions will attack. But then the giraffes take flight. The race of life is on. Giraffes can run over 50 kilometers an hour. Lions can run at 80. placed kick to the lion can be a death sentence. If injured, the predator will be unable to hunt and will eventually die. 
Sometimes a giraffe, weakened by age or injury, will lose. Every day on the African savanna, only the fittest survive the race of life. For the great herbivores, every day brings a new battle. Whether it's the fight against predators, the search for food, or just surviving the dramatic climate, they have to keep moving to stay alive. Hippo, rhino, elephant, gorilla, or giraffe. They use their size, strength, and intelligence to keep them ahead of the game in the African race of life.